Hey YouTube, this is TCA Gaming. So in this video, I'm going to show you a few purchases. Then I'm going to show you someone else's PSA return that they did through my PSA grading service. Now, the the reason I'm showing it is because he had some pretty cool cards. All right, first off, we're going to start with three PSA cards that I purchased, and these actually come from Fourth Star TCG. So if you guys uh, have heard of him, he's uh, he's been in the Pokemon community for a while, and he actually has his, has his own YouTube as well, but. I got a PSA 9 base set 2 Charizard. Then we got a Shining Charizard Mint 9. And then also got a Dark Blastoise Reverse Hollow. All three really nice. We worked out a pretty good deal on that one. Next up, I have something that I collect in spurts, but this is a pre release Clefable. You can see that right there. Very cool. And actually, I picked up a dozen of or almost a dozen of these. I picked up 11 of them. This is something that's never had a PSA 10. None of these are going to get PSA 10. It's just not going to happen. Maybe one day, but very doubtful because on the back sides of these, almost all of them have corner issues. Let's see if I can get the zoom. See how it's got like that white, obvious white around the, the edge. I mean, it's it's not like it's minor. It's It's on all of them. So these are pretty cool. I picked them up for a couple hundred bucks each. You can see them there. Going back into my collection, I have lots of sevens, a couple eights. My nine I, I have done away with, unfortunately. And I need to get a nine because that's the highest possible grade that you can get. Next up, uh, let's see, I think his name is Brett. But here's some cards that he sent in. We have a unlimited base set Charizard, which is a six. And I'm going to keep all these in the same stack. I really don't like showing customers uh, returns normally just because I don't want anything to mix up. But he had some pretty cool cards. Next up we have a Dark Charizard. I also got a 6 and this is the first edition holographic one. Now here we have a first edition Dragonair. It's a 4 but it's something pretty cool. Whoop. You see right there it's got like this rainbow hook crescent moon type deal. From what I can tell, you can get this on both first edition and unlimited. It's a pretty tough error to find. Next up, we have a War Turtle. Check that out. It's got the error War Turtle in the top left corner, and it pulled a nine. Really nice. A couple hundred bucks right there. Next up, we have a Blastoise base set to eight. Then we have. A Blastoise, this is the regular Blastoise, Near Mint Mint 8. Some of you can probably guess where we're going to go with this since we've already shown a few errors in this one. Here we have another Blastoise, Near Mint Mint 8. Now we have a Blastoise, very good 3, in which it has the red dot. I know that seems insignificant. Let's see if I can get it to zoom well. But right here, this red dot over the water energy symbol is re repeated several times in Blastoise, so it is a, it's considered an error. And here's another one. This is a PR1, poor one, and you can see it's got that red dot again. And check this one out. This is pretty cool. This is actually, a, it has a red dot smear. It's like it's trying to be wiped off or something. And this one is a near mint mint 8. I've never seen that one before. He's the only one I've seen with a smear. Then we have another Blastoise. This one's Mint 9, and it has the red dot error. This would be tough to get in Gym Mint 10. One more. We have a Near Mint Mint 8. Again, another red dot Blastoise. Very cool. So he got some high grades for that red dot. And then here is the one that we've all been waiting for. We have a No Stage Blastoise error, and you can see it right there. And what's crazy about this is when you look at it, you can kind of see it like it, you can see there's something, some kind of issue that, that happened. You know, that's where it's supposed to say put Blastoise on the stage one card. But look at this. Boom! Gem Mint 10. You know, I never thought another one of these would be graded. Now, especially not with a new cert. I've graded one of these in the past and I've seen a few sell in the past, but I, I I would not have thought one of these would have come through the system again just because of how harsh PSA is now. And looking at it, the centering is actually off. But man, those corners look great. So this was a real surprise, a real treat, and that's why I'm showing this one in the video. 
Uh, I'm going to try to work out an offer with him for this card. I think the last one I had saw on eBay was between $2,300 and $3,000 or so. The eBay asking price, I don't know if it's sold. I couldn't find it in the... Um, in the sold listings, I haven't looked up the APR yet, but I mean, as you can imagine, I mean, that's a huge step up for this card because I think the nine is like 300 to 500 now. It was about $200 for the longest time, but it's probably stepped up a little bit. So I don't know. I really would love to add this to my collection, but it's not mine right now. It's currently someone else's. Um, it's Brett's, and hopefully I can work out a deal for it. But if not, you know what? That's great. I'm glad another one was added to the community, and it will be back in his collection very soon. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks.